Hey everybody, I have a really awesome kit for you guys today. Um, first, here is what I did with it. You can see right there. And I will walk through what I used from the kit in order to do that in just a minute. Um, but let me first explain a little bit about this kit. What this kit so is, what this kit is is um, we'll be you will get one of these seven gypsies photo artist trays. Um, it is the four by six in black, and each of these squares is four by six. Perfect for a photo and all that. Now you guys have seen these before, I'm sure, and they've been decorated many different ways and everything. And what makes mine a little bit different is I kept thinking to myself wow, that's really awesome, but once you decorate it once, you know, you don't, it, you don't have anything else to do. So I thought it'd be really great to put together kits for this um, in different themes, and, and uh, you'll see I'm going to be doing this probably once a month, once every other month, depending on interest. Um, but everything on mine is removable. And let me just show you how that works in just one second. If I can get this bit of photo thing okay so let me just show you um, everything that's on here is with removable adhesive so I can just pull those off and then all of these are have little tabs here where you can see I have a little tab right here made with some ribbon that I can just pull this guy out and pull them all out put them all away and next Halloween I'll be ready but in between I can put, I can decorate it for Christmas and I'm going to have a Christmas kit coming out and, you know, birthday, whatnot, all different types of um, themes and, and whatnot that we're going to do with these. Um, and all of it is removable, all of it. So it looks good, but it's actually removable. And in order to do this and do this well, I needed to find a really strong adhesive that was removable. And so what I found was the Zotz Stronghold Removable Glue Dots. And these are really only needed for the things that go on the frame. Um, when you decorate something that goes on the frame, like for instance, in mine, I used it to put this bat on. I used those. Um, I used it for this guy right here. Um, and I used it for the spider web and stuff. And for this piece right here. Um, I use the strong hold so that it stays on there for a long time. Um, but when I'm ready, it just pulls right off. And I've tested it, and it works really well. So other than that, you can use solid adhesive, because basically the way I've designed these is that you can pull out all the pieces, put it in a Ziploc, write Halloween on it, and it's ready to go next year, and then you just put in the next kit. Um, so let's show you what you get. You get this, uh, for this particular one, we're going to start off with the, with the artist trays. From now on, I probably won't be selling the artist trays unless you really need one. Um, if you really need one, I do have a, someone I can get them from. It might take a little longer to get your kit, but I can still get these um, down the line. But for now, I have six of these, these kits available this time. Um, so you'll get the artist tray, and um, you'll also get some of a bag of the spider web along with the spider, and I just cut off the ring part of the spider. But so you'll get a bag of that. Um, you'll also get a bag right here of the reindeer moss. It has a really great color, um, and that's what I used right here, which is hot glued to this particular tag. But like I said, this whole tag comes out um, without a problem. It's not hot glued to the frame itself. So this is hot glued, and I have a RIP in there, a little gemstone. Um, okay, um, you'll get a roll of, a, you know, probably two feet roll of the removable adhesive. Okay, you will get some um, about a yard of this orange felt, not felt, <laughs> tool, <laughs> and that's what I use just to decorate the. The front a little bit. You'll get one of these spooky skeletons. Really cool. And what I did with mine is I actually rubbed some um, black soot over him to age him a bit. And that was really fun. Not that it doesn't look gringy as it is, but I just grunged it up a little bit more. Um, this is really cool material. What this is is actually um, 
it's it's an industrial product um, that actually protects from fires and whatnot. If you're in a building, some of them have these things that this will cover air um, elevators, and you don't really need to know. It's a really cool cool material. It's see through. Um, it's got a grid on it that is textured. It's um feel it. It's got kind of like this these lines through it, and it's it's just a fun material. It die cuts easily. So you can die cut flowers or whatever you want out of this. It also, because it's see-through, would be cool for a pocket. Um, so I'm including a 6x6 six six piece of that. And I'm also including two strips of the Happy Halloween paper. All right, I also have some, this is the organza. I have um, a yard of this. And this is good, this is what I used for the pulls. Um, I, basically what I did, is I took a piece of black cardstock, which you will get, and I took the piece of pattern paper. And what I did was I just took a little piece of the Organza ribbon, okay, folded it in half, attached it, you see this? Attached it like this, right? And then put this paper on top, okay, and then you have your little pull. All right, and that way these just slide in there and you don't really have to put any adhesive onto the thing because it will stay in there. If you need to, you can put a little bit of the removable adhesive on the back if it's by chance loose or something in the, in the square. So that's how that works. So that's what this organza ribbon is for. And it's sort of see-through, it's, you know, it's not too obstructive. You know, it's not too big, it's thin, it's small. Um, you'll also get... Um, a foot of this. It's sort of a zigzag, but when you put it down, it almost looks like a scallop. A um, piece of black ribbon, a piece of this fun green cord, which I thought would be fun to hang like a banner if you wanted to do that on this. Um, and then this also zigzag um, yellow, um, orange, and white. Okay, so you get those. Um, you will also get um, some fun things. Um, I have, this is a, uh, a skull, but it's also, it, it has a hole through it. So what I did with mine is I took the memo pin, which you'll also get a memo pin, and I just put a glob of um, hot glue and slid this on there. And that's how I got this right here. So this is the skull with the memo pin, and I put the ticket on it. Okay. So that, you got the skull. You could also hang it from a charm and hang it from the top, what have you. So you'll also get a memo pin. Um, you'll also get two of these um, little clothespins, and I thought that would be the cute if you wanted to use it with the cord to make the banner. You could use these um, with the removable adhesive on the frame. Um, I'm giving you four little teeny tiny popsicle sticks, and I thought this would be kind of cute um, if you wanted to make like a beware beware sign or, or, I don't know, something fun. Um, you could do that. I also have uh, two Prima flowers. One, one of them, they might, the sizes might vary, but one of them will be this velvety black with the velvet, and the other will be plain. Okay. I also, you will get an assortment of buttons. Each kit will have eight buttons in it, and they'll be different sizes um, different shapes and different colors, depending on per kit. Um, you will get two tickets. One will be this Happy Halloween, and these are the, from the Tim Holtz stamp set. And this is also from the Tim Holtz stamp set, but I did stamp a spider in the middle, and that's from a different stamp set. Um, and you will also get the RIP, the headstone. Okay. And like I said, I just inked that up with the pumice stone and some black soot, and cut it out and stuck it in the in the graveyard, my makeshift graveyard. Now right, you will also get some clear cuts and let me just show you the different kinds you might get. Um, they do vary. Um, everyone will get a one with words, whether it be Fright Night, Boo, Spooky, or Happy Halloween. They're all really cute. So you'll get one that has words and then you'll get two images whether they're ghosts or bats or pumpkins or cats or candy or whatever. So this particular kit has the spider and the ghost. All right. And then you'll also get 
two die cut pieces um, the, of ghosts, and these are from White Lightweight Chip, uh, White Lightweight Chipboard. Um, you'll get a whole package of this top 10 favorite things I love about Halloween. And what I love about this is it fits absolutely perfectly in one of the squares. And I just have some paper behind it. Um, but it looks really, really cute. And it's a great opportunity to have journaling. And you can see from this, I will put a picture here and maybe one here. I could put one here, there. I mean, there's lots of places I can put pictures. It's not totally done. It's just decorated at this point. Okay, so now let's get down to the papers. All right, so. All right, you will get a small piece of this glittered bats uh, paper, and you can cut out these bats and put them on, or you can use it somewhere as a strip of something. Um, you will get one with the pumpkins and the gate. Love this paper. This is from the Booville collection, and they are all double-sided papers. And this is the other piece that I had used, so you can use either side. Okay, you also have this one, which has, you can't see it, but there is um, text in there. And then there's the, the bottom, and it's got some spiders on the back. Very fun. Uh, there's this argyle, and this also has words in the background. Really fun green, and then there's also the circles on the back. And then we have the ghosts, and everyone will get this particular thing. I bought one piece of every single one so that I could get this um, image on every kit. So you'll get that, and then another piece of the background, which has the ghosts. Okay. You'll get six pieces of the um, American Crafts black cardstock, and that will go on the back of each of those so that you can form your, your little holes and then you'll also get this is a 12 by 12 pieces of paper that I have cut up so you can use these this way the long way you can cut them up you can use them as the background if you'd like to um, there's lots of great images there that you could either cut out or like I said use as a border strip or something like that on one of the papers so a lot of fun stuff and I think that that's it so if you have any questions, let me know. These will be available on my Etsy site, um, my first Etsy sale, as well as on my blog. And it's just super cute, super fun, and also really versatile. So hopefully that you, I hope, I hope you like them. Um, I had so much fun playing with these, and they're really easy to do, easy to add photos. With this, it's easy to add journaling, and, and it's removable. So... You can either make this permanent if you'd like to, obviously, that's totally your choice, um, or you can make it removable with the removable adhesive I included, and then get ready for Christmas, because I'm probably going to have a Christmas set as well. And anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts of what themes you would like to see in the future for these, or, you know, if it's something that you want to join. I don't, this is, I'm just starting, so I don't know if maybe you want to join for like a three-month thing, or if you just want to do it month by month. Um, I'm open. Like I said, this is kind of new to me, but I'm really excited about it. I love the idea, and look at how cute this is. It's just adorable. I mean, look at that. Isn't that so cute? So anyway, I, lo I would love to also see what you guys create with the kits, and thanks so much for joining me.